Hey guys, it's Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft. Now, I've been talking to another YouTube bushcrafter, another Canadian for that matter, uh, goes by the name Cull Craven. Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff on his channel, and he has a lot of good content up, and uh, I wanted to do a project with him. So we've been talking for a little bit, trying to find uh, something we have a similar interest in. We're going to do a little project on cooking in a cup. And the idea of this is real bushcraft cooking in some type of a cup. And uh, every week, or maybe not that often, the two of us are each going to put up a video on cooking something. Now, the idea behind this is that it's going to be cooked on a real campfire or a wood-burning stove. And it's going to be real cooking. It's not just a heating up an instant meal. And it will be cooked in a cup. Now, we originally discussed using a, a canteen cup. And I was going to do that. But... Um, I don't, you've seen me, I don't carry one of these. As much as I own one for projects, I don't carry one. I carry either a GSI cup or a Pathfinder cup with my uh, Pathfinder bottle. So, I don't know. I don't feel right about training or practicing with a piece of gear I don't carry. So I'm going to substitute my Pathfinder bottle and my Pathfinder cup or a GSI cup instead. And that's what I'm going to be cooking in. So the idea with this project is to show you guys that not that you only need a cup and that you don't need a pot set. You know, I still carry my pot set. I always carry this as my backup container, but it's just to show that it is easy to do, cook real food and have a real meal over a campfire with, with very little stuff. So uh, we're going to cook up some rice today. So uh, stick around. This isn't going to be hard. All right, guys, I tell you, I haven't even started cooking yet, and just getting ready for this, I'm learning from this project already. Um, either with a standard canteen and cup, or with my Pathfinder bottle, I've been carrying them in the cheap carrier, and this uh, Bren gun pouch I showed you guys. And uh, I got these because they were like $3. They were the easy solution. You can get the nice Molly uh, carrier that's got two big pockets on it for these, but they're like 20, 25 bucks up here. And I could get the the Maxpedition or the Condor bottle carrier. They're like 20, 25 bucks. They got a big pocket on them and molly on them. But I didn't think I really needed them. But as soon as I went to actually deploy these without my mess kit, I started realizing I need a spoon, I need oil, I need actual food that isn't carried with them. I was relying on other stuff. Now, I don't normally carry this on its own, so I'm not gonna go out and spend the money on the carrier because part of our plan, our, our uh, project, was that we were only supposed to be able to cook with what we'd carry with the little pot set or with the little cup set. So what I did instead was I substituted a standard mag pouch, which could be carried on a pistol belt with uh, with this or just tied to the side of that pouch. So yeah, I learned kind of right away. I expected each of these to be a standalone kit and until I actually tried to use them and then I realized I don't have the things I need to really cook the meals I want to cook. So I did learn something already, guys. What we got going on today is Uncle Ben's fast and fancy garden vegetable style rice. And the instructions for cooking this, it's not instant, but it's really easy. You add everything in here, 500 mils of water and uh, some oil or margarine to your pot and you boil it for 17 minutes. Pretty easy. Do this real quick. Five hundred mils of water is really easy. With my Pathfinder cup, it's got markings right on the side of it. Contents of the pouch. Alright guys, that's your prep. It goes on the fire, once it boils, 17 minutes. Alright guys, our uh, garden vegetable rice has had it 17 minutes on the fire and it's in its 5 minutes of cool down right now and it is looking great. 
I can tell you guys, cooking this is pretty idiot free. Uh, it's cooking in water, so it's not like you can really burn it. Um, early when it starts to cook, it's full of water. You can really get a really high boil going. And as the water absorbs into the rice, you do want to maybe raise it up a little bit and stir a little more, keep a closer eye on it. Uh, but it is not hard to cook in the least. Now, according to Uncle Ben, uh, we have four servings in here at 150 calories a piece. So you're in for 600 calories if you eat the whole thing. And it's made about 500 mils according to my Pathfinder cup. Now, uh, another big plus for this is that adding to it would not be hard. If I was hunting and uh, perhaps I took a squirrel or uh, a, a quail or a small bird or something, and frying the meat up and adding it to this would be easy. And uh, all your uh, uh, veggies out here would not be hard either. Um, some wild leeks or some wild onion would be really good. Let's move this thing up here. All right. Mmm. That is not bad at all. And it's not, certainly not instant rice, right? I had to cook it for 17 minutes. That's regular rice. It just comes pre-seasoned. Mmm. That's it. I always watch for ones you don't need milk for. Most of them are going to need oil or margarine, which I carry anyway. So that is a good point. That is something you've got to carry. you got to remember to have oil or margarine on you. Uh, it's nice it comes in these, these packages. They're foil lined, so they're going to be waterproof. You can see this one's all beat up because it's probably been in my bag for weeks. Uh, yeah, grocery store, dollar store, buck and change, buck 40, somewhere around there. Great meal, guys. So, to call Craven, tagged. You're it.